Oh, I'm locked to this one. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of For the First Time, a series where I consume some kind of sonic media for the very first time and give you my first impressions. Today, we are going to be taking a look at the 32X exclusive Knuckles Chaotix. It's technically Knuckles is Chaotix because it has the thing over the X. But what's weird is that this thing says Chaotix featuring Knuckles the Echidna. Welcome to the next level in 32X. You know what I mean, right? Anyways, game, stop telling me that I've been taking too long at this, okay? I'll hit the go button. Now, uh, technically, I did play this, it, not like in the game in its entirety. I did a little bit of training because I was told that the controls are going to be a little odd. And we're going to get into that as we go along. But we're going to start the story. So let's begin. And I don't have a save file. So we're just going to go with... Oh, that's a no save. Screw that. We'll go data. Um, auto save. Technically, I guess if you really want to, you can do a no save. Um, now, this isn't like your standard Sonic game, as you can tell. Momentum... Okay, it's kind of like a Sonic 1 momentum thing. Anyways, uh, you start with Knuckles the Echidna. You have this ring with you, but you're like, wait, where is any everyone? We'll get to that in a bit. Uh, you jump with the C button, and when we get the other characters, I'll explain what the rest of the, of the buttons do. But for now, we just run over to the right, and we see Dr. Eggman right here. And he's got our boy Espio. Espio. And now I freed you. So. The B button. You hold it and you can have your enemy. I mean, you can have your uh, teammate either just hold their place. Or you can pick them up and throw them. Uh, we'll skip practice mode since I've kind of had some practice with it. And we have the door to summer. So you can pick up your your uh, partner and throw them but it does this weird thing where um, they're kind of tethered by this ring but if you hold down you can see it turning red you can go at full speed in in the direction that you're being pulled towards also this music is amazing oh my gosh he's giant that is okay I didn't know about the power-ups I, I saw um, Sam's Procrastination Station actually streamed this, but I wasn't exactly paying attention. I think we were just uh, messing with them the entire time. But what we can do is hold them here, have Knuckles here, and open it up so we can get through. You can hold down like your normal Sonic stuff. Although some of my sound effects kind of went away. All right, you stay here. I will go here. And then we will keep going. So I can hold them like that. Uh, I can also call them back if I need to by pressing the A button. The only downside is that, so if I do that, it takes away 10 rings, as you can see. So eventually, if I do that too much, I'll be in debt um, with rings. Now, this is another interesting thing. Uh, it's multiplayer. You can play two players with it, which is crazy. All right, I'm gonna go this way. And um, I think some platforms you can actually no, nope, hold on, let me... Okay, that's a solid platform. Uh, if you go through a platform that isn't solid, like some of the more, uh, like the ones that you can jump through, uh, you can actually throw them through those platforms so you can ascend higher and higher. And in the practice mode, I actually did need that. But I think... You can also spin dash, which doesn't do a lick of... Um, doesn't really have as much use. And as you saw right there, since Mighty was... Not Mighty, sorry. I was practicing using Mighty the whole time. I apologize for that. Um, if you have Espio there, say I throw Espio up here. Oh, dang. Okay, I was trying to get him to hold on. Say I get him to hold on, I can do that. Pretty much, uh, I can have him hold on and it'll fling me closer to him. Which is actually pretty cool. It's, it's a neat kind of... It, it, it's, it feels like Sonic 2 in a way. So see how I'm stuck like that? I can just hold down and launch myself up and it'll also launch him up and if there's another platform above us, we can use that to our advantage. Actually, what I'm gonna do is this. I wanted to spin dash so I can get him out. Uh, I know there are special stages in this. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find them. Man. I could really listen to Door to Summer for a while, because this is pretty good. 
What's what's this now? I actually don't even know what's going on here. I guess this is like one massive level. See? There we go. Now you saw how one of the mechanics worked. Uh, it's funny because like each one I think has their own version of a spin dash. Knuckles does a normal spin dash, but you can also glide. What that'll be useful for, I don't know. You could just sling them up there. I don't know how that'll be useful. Um, I guess you can go a little crazy in the air. Okay, that worked out better than it should have. I think it's just fun letting them go crazy like that. Dang it! <laughs> I did not want SBO to be massive. Am I ever going to find... I'm not going to find an emerald or, uh, or a big ring, am I? Technically, you're not finding emeralds. You're finding the seven seven rings. I, I don't remember what their exact names are, but... Seven rings that you have to find, and I think it was up there. Sling me up here. Oh, Knuckles is actually super useful in this. I can just climb up here and just take him with me. And I believe this is the end of the level? No, I'm just going through this again. I'm I'm a little confused now. We're like five minutes into this level and I'm still not sure what's going on. All right. Oh, wait, wait. I'm supposed to have him hold on. Oh, that's fun. It's a little... F it, it, like... It's fun to mess with when you get when you finally get the hang of it. Like at first I didn't have a clue what I was doing. There we go. So it, it does take a good amount of time to get used to the uh, to the controls. Okay, that worked out better than it should have. Oh, I want this. i just slowly bring him up with me. There it is. Oh, we got it! Sweet! That was a long level. My goodness. Okay, so... Four blue spheres to get. Get these kind of pseudo 3D areas. Now, the way these work is that you're supposed to get the rings that are required, but the thing is that you can stay in these indefinitely, but um, the only drawback is the fact... Well, I mean, your rings are your timer. That's pretty much it. I'm a little... Having a little bit of trouble seeing this properly. That should do it. That should be the first one done. Okay, so I've got five out of four. How many blue spheres do I have? Four more to go. And as long as I get the four by the next area, we're good. Just try not to run out of rings. Oh, dear. No. Uh. Okay, this is the hard part. Trying to exactly see where I need to be. I can hit this middle one. Alright, that that worked out. It's two. Three. Boy. Oh god. Four. Perfect. Good stuff. Good stuff. Alright. We just gotta keep this up. The visibility is what's really getting me. Oh, wait, wait, I got one. Yo. a super dope. I got a chaos ring. Nice. So apparently there are seven of them. We got to get them, just like emeralds. And now I can choose the character I want. And then we can go with the character that... Uh, I'm going to go with Charmy. I've heard he's overpowered. 
And then with this, I can either leave or I can go play another level, which I'm going to go do. It's just that I believe our teammates and our uh, our levels are randomized. Whoa. Oh, this will be an interesting one. So now we have to pick either the player or the character. Oh, it's the character we go after. What is this? I didn't get anything good. Oh, I'm locked to this one. Oh, this is going to be fun. This one's whole thing is to just troll you. Now I get to pick an area. Uh... And if any of this music sounds familiar, SRB2 cart. That's exactly where this gets it from. So now we get to do this level with this bomb strapped to our backs, pretty much. Amazing Arena. How does that work when I have no rings at all? Also the fact that I can just carry this guy with me everywhere. So maybe it's good I got the... the oh boy. So you can get him caught. That's the only real downside. But I think I'm gonna try and blast through this as much as I as fast as I can just so I can avoid um What is that? Oh he's smaller And I teleported to a new or transport I'm transported to a new area. Now, Charmy doesn't jump like normal characters, so... What am I doing? Oh, it just returns me back. Okay. I guess that's the way I'm not dealing with hostile enemies. So I'm just gonna... I can't go through here. Oh, wait, did I lose all my rings? Oh, I got them all back. Okay, we can go through here now. I guess his biggest issue is the fact that I can't jump, so I'm defenseless when I go towards anything. There's a big ring. I saw it. I saw it. It's up here. Oh, cool. Larger projectile. Sa you suck. Right there. Nice. Oh, no. This one is just, I guess, fall through and try not to hit the exit panels. I don't know what the whole thing behind this is. I don't have a score requirement, requirement do I? Oh, God. Okay. Oh, it increases and decreases speed, so let's decrease the speed a little bit more so I can fall down a little slower. Hit that. Okay. Do I need like a ring or a score requirement or something? Seeing all of these exit signs isn't helping. Ooh, that got real close. I don't know what that was for, but I got it. Okay. Okay, any more ring numbers that aren't just like... 
ones and twos. Yeah, okay. I didn't know if I was going to be able to get anywhere near that, so I didn't get it. At least this works. It's, a, it's basically a massive battering... Well, it was a massive battering ram. Was a massive battering ram. Keyword being was. This is a very bizarre game. Just in terms of controls. Because you have this tether mechanic that... Ah, if only the tether can actually... If only the tether mechanic could actually bring, um, can also give you rings, like, if it's between it, you can collect rings from that. That'd be actually really useful. I'm gonna go around. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do my pro gamer move and just go around that. Get, get sucked up by that. Oh, I'm so glad you actually smacked him instead of... There we go. Now we get another special stage. Alright, let's do this one. Oh, same thing. Okay. Same idea, but we gotta get more blue spheres. Oh, that hurt. Hop over. Now I need one more. But I could also spend my time collecting rings as long as I don't take damage. It should be good. Perfect, perfect. We'll get a seventh one, why not? Alright, so we basically have to do this three times from what I've witnessed. If not, then, I'm, then it's probably twice. Anyways, let's keep going. Alright, we got two. I'll hop over that. Mm. Oh, that's not safe. Oh my gosh, how did I how did I get around that? Wait. Oh, that was all 6. Cool. All right, we got 30 rings to go. Oh, it's two rounds. So I have two chaos rings right now just from playing that. Okay, then. I think to go through more of these would take a little too long. And I don't want to, like, draw these out much longer than they should be. So um, I want to show off something cool, and that's the sound test. And we're going to play Door into Summer because it's my favorite piece from the game. And hit the start button by accident. That's going to do it for this edition of For the First Time. What I'm going to say is that there is a bit of a learning curve here when you first play it. I know I only played two levels, but this was just to get a feel for how the game was. It's a first impression series. So um, I'm going to say this. Once you get past the controls, it is probably more manageable, but it's still very, still pretty jank. It's pretty, it's not as finished as it should, as it should be. Uh, it would be something that if they were to ever do this again for maybe like a um, a side game or something would need some more polish before you could actually get this out right I'm surprised there's no ROM hacks that are like fixing up the uh, how this works or adding new levels or something like that I'm surprised none of that exists but then again it is 32x it is a very niche console compared to something like Genesis Super Nintendo or um, whatever systems that you can play Sonic games on you know GameCube Game Boy Advance and stuff like that it's just those are so widely available these ones are just like not really it's just 
add-on that didn't do so well in the US with a small library of games. And I know somebody who has it, and that's Shani. Shani, if you're hearing this, there you go. Uh, <laughs> Um, he was pretty much the reason why I played this, because he was torturing Stamps Procrastination Station with it, so I figured, hey, you know what? I gave him a little bit of heck for that. Why don't I play it myself and see exactly how it is and experience Knuckles Chaotix? And I'm going to say this, I don't hate it, but I'm not a fan of it, so <laughs> maybe I will despise it when I play the game in its entirety, maybe one day on stream, so we'll see exactly when that happens. Um, there are plans that we have for the future, but for now... It's an interesting concept that probably could use a bit more work, but aside from that, I hate the fact that you ha you can't pick the level that you want to go to, but I guess that's just the luck of the draw with these, uh, with these levels uh, with this game, so yeah. Anyways, that's going to do it for this edition of For the First Time. Let me know what you think about Knuckles Chaotix in the comment section down below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content I produce and you're not subscribed yet, join the Knuckles Club by subscribing to the channel. Click the bell icon to get notifications for new content, and at this time, I want to give a shout out to the members of Nux Club Plus. They are the channel members and Twitch subscribers, and you'll see their names on screen right now. Like I said, YouTube channel members, Twitch subscribers, so if you want to support the channel in a bigger way, join button, Twitch subscription link, feel free to use those. Those are great ways to support the channel, but you can also do so by getting a Nux Club Hot Takes Tea from the Teespring link down below. Uh, don't forget to also follow my social media accounts so you can find out what's going on with the channel or just follow the stuff that I talk about. And with that said, I hope you have a wonderful and safe day, and I really love Dorn to Summer. It, this is like one of my favorite tracks from Knuckles Chaotix, and I've heard a couple, but I really like this one. I think because I've heard the Generations version of it, and it's beautiful. So, uh, <laughs> enough of my rambling. Thank you all so much for coming by, and I will see you in the next video for the next, for the first time. I don't know when it's going to be because there's I'm running out of things to play for the first time. Take care.